Speaking of, quick story. I was in sixth grade camp and I was doing <laughs> pranks with people and I took a dump in someone's cabin and turned the temp up to 95 all the way a cabin could do. And then we went out to do activities. They came back five hours later. <laughs> Woo! I could smell it from my cabin. It was a long way away. <laughs> I baked that thing in the bathroom. It was great. They never knew oh it was God. me. Anyway, I'm crying. That's disgusting. All right, Here at well, Sweet we've Clarity, got... we love shit stories. Yeah. yeah. And getting back to business real quick. If you want to see what we do, the music we play, go to our main channel, at Sweet Clarity, S-U-I-T-E. <laughs> Bang. You'll enjoy it over there. It's a go nice there. little place. All right, so I'm going to pull, and then I'm going to text it to you, and then you're going to read it out. <laughs> that You call that a throw? Are you still doing that edit? Yes! I didn't know you were still Pick doing that the edit. Pick that shit back up! I didn't know you were still doing the edit. There you go. Did you, did you bitch that out in the I, last I, one? The last, the last two, I, I just... I'm gonna have to put like a fart noise instead. Sure, yeah, yeah. I'll start throwing it very hard now. Okay, I've texted you the name. Go ahead and read it out. All right, so it's... Elveti, Exile of the Gods. Hell yeah! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. That you was, saw the instant regret uh, in her face. She, she just leaned forward real quick and let it rip. <laughs> oh my god. So do you guys remember Elvady? Do you remember? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced now. I don't remember them at all. Yeah, the one we were calling Alluvid Alluviate. Alluvite Al or how? Al yeah. <laughs> Alluvite. That was the band that we watched live and they had the hurdy gurdy. Remember the hurdy gurdy? Alluvite. We thought they were French. Bonjour. Alluvite. Alluvite. Okay. Whoa. Oh my god. Wow. That was quick. That is a. That's a blast beat if I've ever heard one. That blast beat really threw me, dude. Ooh, the little bass carrying the melody in the back. There's the hurdy gurdy, I saw it. Yeah. Oh, look at the drummer playing some shite. Love it. See that extra percussion on the left? Do I hear it? Or no, maybe it's that mandolin thing. Yeah, it's yeah. a mandolin. Yeah. Now it's on the right. Yeah. Her voice is gorgeous. Nice little triplet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's friggin'. 
a breakdown and then that carries the melody. That's so sick. Hell yeah. A fiddle and a hurdy gurdy. And bagpipes? Is that bagpipes? And a tin whistle? Irish flute? Something like that. And a real man. Real man. Holy crap. That was a cool camera angle. I'm thinking about the lighting logistics, dude. Oh my lord. What a nightmare. I kind of like don't want this song to end. Yeah. We got a double chorus. Okay, so he is screaming behind her. I was wondering who was. Yeah. At that layer of They fitness. brought back the blast beat. That Ooh, is... Right for the end, too. So interesting. <laughs> what just happened? That is so interesting. <laughs> they put the blast beat in, like, the weirdest spot. Yeah, they started the song and ended the song with the blast beats. And then, like, the middle and the choruses came around. And I was like, how is this the same song from what I just heard? That's but it somehow worked. It, it did. It worked. It was just funny. It threw me for a loop. I'm just Damn. listening to... Oh, that's why the video is so dope. Look at that freaking yeah. crew. Yeah. yeah, they had a damn team. That's for sure. Yeah, I was thinking about the lighting, dude. Yeah. The Oh, God. How you get that right? Yeah. yeah, like it was all lit. Well, it looked like it was all lit from those bonfires, but I feel like there was more there behind be, camera. There had to be more. There's no way that it lit everything. Oh, she dropped the ball. <laughs> ah! I loved that. That was really cool. Her voice, so like not the same genre of music whatsoever, right? But she's singing in the similar placement as like Carrie Underwood does. Where she's able yep. to get that that high, like powerful notes, and she also can add a. And when I say twang, I mean like where she goes. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to do it right now. But <laughs> she gets a little bit of a twang in there. It's not like a country twang. It's it's a, it's a Irish Scottish. Yeah, like instead of that, it was like a. There was like some more tone to it. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. 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 yeah, it was uh, less less a. Uh, it, it, it was kind of a slide, like mm. she, like a quick slide. It's just she can do really good quick slides when she's in that placement, and it just sounds really pretty. She gets that resonance in there, and uh, him, like Aaron was saying, him being in the background with the the screamy scrams, like really filling it out a little bit. And then when he does have his own little part where he's. Bleh! It's it just hits. It just He's hits doing what? Right. He's doing bleh. Oh, you know? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I really like that song. I'm gonna add that to the playlist. Speaking of my creative workout playlist, it's called Sweet Workouts. Yeah. I T E workouts on Spotify. I was gonna say people can go follow it, right? <laughs> yeah, you can go follow it. <laughs> I'm trying to start putting all of the ones I say I'm gonna add to my workout playlist. There you go. So far, I've forgotten every single one of them. So far, it's just all like rap music. I've got like four songs. Oh, God. <laughs> you can't advertise uh, it unless you're going to yeah. maintain no, no, it. No, no, no. I am. I am. <laughs> I do have more on there than four. I'm just, I'm just playing. But all right. yes. Okay. All right. Yes. No. Yeah. It was, did y'all notice in the chorus... So there was the dude, not necessarily a dude choir, but a layer of dudes uh, doing, you know, harmonies and whatnot under the chorus. But did you catch you know, the counter melody with the hurdy gurdy? Yes. Yeah. That yeah, I did. Pretty oh, sweet. Cool. There were even a couple held out notes where it was doing suspended fourths, which was pretty cool. I, you don't normally hear that kind of thing. Um, so it was it was pretty sweet. I was trying to follow that and follow the harmonization. And it was interesting. It was mixed really well, too, because you could hear everything and all those extra instruments and nothing got cluttered, which is freaking hard to do. For sure. To get the hurdy-gurdy to come out as it did, but also not bury the vocals is 
not the most easiest thing to accomplish. So, uh, respect. Big facts. Big facts. That was, yeah, I mean, like, that was really cool. I'm going to Scotland in the summer, and that's the vibe I'm going for the entire time. Oh, trip. yeah. Love that. Uh, let's yep. see. The blast beats, I'm going to keep saying it, threw me for a loop. That shocked me. <laughs> Yeah, and then it, and then it went to that beautiful song. I was like, whoa. Um, let's see. The song structure, pretty normal, right? Drummer was playing some cool shit, playing some triplet stuff, some six-stroke rolls. If you're a drummer, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, a lot of double bass, a lot of syncopated parts. They went to that breakdown and let the extra instruments, meaning not like the main instruments, carry the melody, which I thought was really cool. Uh, and then, yeah, I really like the screams in the chorus underneath her beautiful voice mm. and her harmony. I thought they were, they made it like fat with a pH. Yeah. Okay. So correct me, comment section, because comment section knows everything. Everything. That was not a violin. That was a fiddle. Mm. There was a harp. Mm. That was a viola. <laughs> I, I it might have, it looked a little, I don't know. It might have been. I'm not sure. Uh, there was that a harp. There was a obviously a hurdy gurdy. There was something I think sounded like a mandolin, but it looked bigger than a mandolin. So tell me what the hell that yeah. was. And then a tin whistle or an Irish flute or something of that category. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so tell me that. But I do know for a fact, like a lot of those traditional folk instruments only can only play in like one key so i don't know either every single song that these guys make is in the same key <laughs> that'd be tough My God. Uh, or they make like different sizes for different for different keys like harmonicas right you buy different harmonicas for different keys kind of like the same i don't know how that works so someone tell me how that works so i don't have to google it myself because i'm lazy yeah. He's got he's got editing to do now. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching another one of our Sweet Clarity reaction videos where we react to songs that you put in our butthole box. So put more comments in our butthole Damn, box. It's, it's getting worse and worse as we go. <laughs> oh, God. Um, check us out on Spotify and um, Apple Music. We have all of our good stuff on our other page at Sweet Clarity, S-U-I-T-E. Make sure you check out where uh, we put our balls in your mouth because... You know, we kind of know what we're talking about. And to put all that in context, when she says, put our nuts in your mouth, it means when we play actual music, meaning we're not just talking about music. And the butthole box she's saying is our comment section. You know, that Thank was never to... it was never explained, and I just want to throw that out there for people that are new and they're like, what the hell is she talking about? No, yeah. let them let them figure it out. I'm, I'm sure they could figure it out, but my if god, that was a this, riddle. If they're watching this, they're smart, damn Put it. Put your comment in my ass! Clip the microphone! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Thank you to our Patreons for sticking with us yeah. through all of our shit and losing our bass players and whatnot. Yeah. It's really nice to have you guys as our support. You guys are going to leave us, right? Oh, hey. Um, wanted to give a big shout out to all of our patrons that have supported us through everything that we do. We appreciate you guys more than you could possibly know. So, big shout out to Brian Cure Coffee. Jason Young, Overkill, TC, Vira, Tim Myers, Where the Children Play, Alan Shulker, Chan Weinmeister, Janice Eltz, Moogle, Paul Sauber, Peter Tillin, Robert Diplock, Tony O'Leary, Dominic Gebel, Joachim Nitberg, Pedro Cicero, Randall Jones, Rob, Sith Spit, Stephen Bucchieri, Thorsten Teckenberg, Axie, Damien, Deepak Singh, Nikki Mirieski, Alan Johnstone, Frederic Bergeron, Joachim Ringfist, Hurst Mush, Macy Zarnek, and Ninja Gustafson. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, bye. <laughs> oh my God, we went off the rail. <laughs> <laughs>